Hello, this is Siddharth Dhamber from Chicago Arthritis and Regenerative Medicine. I had a patient today whose hips we were treating with platelet rich plasma. Uh, he asked me something interesting that I think is worthwhile discussing. So he has MRIs for both hips that show some very mild arthritis, and they also incidentally show other things that are likely part of his degenerative process. In one hip, it mentions fraying of the labrum. In the other hip, it mentions a small tear of the labrum. So he asked a really reasonable question, which is, What's the difference and is that even relevant? So um, what's interesting is, you know, in someone who's already had arthritis, that labral change is just part of that degenerative process. So understanding that goes a long way to not overreacting to what that MRI finding is. Um, but number two, it's a really great question. Is there, is there really that much of a difference between a small tear and a fraying tear? Uh, or fraying of a, of a soft tissue segment in someone who's already had osteoarthritis? And the answer is likely not. Uh, when you really look at what's going on clinically in this individual, and we had a chance to, during his treatment, look at what are all the different layers of tissue from the skin all the way down to the joint in his case, and even dynamically um, have him flex and internally, externally rotate the hip, and you realize there's no impingement here. It's not a labral issue. But when you look at the different layers of tissue that are involved, you have muscles, tendons, ligaments, the labrum, the joint, and all of these are what's causing his degenerative process in the hip. Um, for an individual like this, when he looks at his MRI report really carefully, he gets thrown off because there's an emphasis on something like a labral tear versus labral frame. When you look at it under ultrasound and you start to realize the layers of tissue that are involved to lead to that slow and progressive degenerative issue going on in his hip, you realize that he doesn't need to overreact to this. And it's helpful in his case to realize that there is a layered process of, of what's going on here and that he doesn't need to overreact and get overly concerned to what the MRI imaging report has. And in his case, he'll likely do well. He's still at an early stage of his condition, and hopefully we can keep him functioning at a very high level with a very low intense, low risk, non-surgical uh, process. Let me know your thoughts. Have a good day and live well. Bye-bye.